Hi guys, welcome to Women's of Life. So right now it's 12:15 uh, a.m. and we are going to Gokarna. So it would be complete night drive. So my two of my friends joining. Mr. Sarit Bhai. Hello, sub people. And this is Ashu. And me, of course. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey guys. So it's in the middle of the night around. Uh, loud, loud. Okay. It's in the middle of the night and it's uh, around 1:50 p.m. Oh, sorry, 1:50 a.m. So if I'm mistaken. And uh, we have stopped on NH48 to have some cup of a coffee and some smokes. And uh, yeah, the ride still continues. So hopefully by tomorrow morning before 10 a.m. we'll be reaching Gokarna. So guys, right now it's five o'clock, five a.m. in the morning, and Sarit Bhai is having kela. Let's we all are having food. <laughs> yeah, no other food sales over here. This is the only thing. So just going with the flow. So it's five a.m. now. Um, we all are hungry. Only we three are having banana. Somnath is saying it's too much of calories. He will not have anything. Antioxidants. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, he will just smoke. Okay. Good for health. So finally, after ten hours of drive. We reached our hotel, Samudra Sanskriti. So this is the hotel entrance. Let me show you around. This is the entrance. Drive path. And this is the reception area. So quite antique style. So our hotel didn't have the a la carte, so it, they were charging 160 for a very poor spread of uh, buffet for the breakfast. So we thought of, you know, go out and we came to Viraj Valley where they have the white elephant cafe and we are having breakfast right now here. After the breakfast, we went back to our hotel. Me and Somnath opted for a quick nap to compensate the night's sleep, but Sarit and Yeshu went for swimming. After we woke up, we are now going to Om Beach. Here we will have our lunch at Namaste Cafe. In Namaste Cafe, we ordered for squid chili, prawn butter garlic, crab masala and the seafood sizzler. The quantity, the taste, everything was super. Even the view was awesome from the cafe. So you can have really a chill out time here.
post lunch we spent some time in mom beach enjoying the view and the sunset and after that we came back to our hotel At night we went in swimming pool had drinks and food in that pool which wasn't restricted that day as there was a big group already violated the rules so we took advantage and soaked in Hi friends good morning today we got ready and we will be going out for the beach hopping but i wanted to show you the view from our hotel so that's the sea the dark blue and that side is the mountain range so we got the deluxe room is the back side of the hotel and they have the cottages also that uh, in front of the swimming pool the only good thing about this hotel is they allow though the pool timing is still 8 pm but they allow uh, us allowed us yesterday for Uh, drinks inside the pool also, and uh, it was till twelve a.m. We stayed there in the pool, so that's the only thing I would say is the positive about this hotel. But I'm not sure, as it is not in the rule. So when you come, will you get that or not? <laughs> you can see the shutter is. stuck somewhere and somnath is putting all his efforts to close it and this is our room this is said to be the deluxe one where this is one of the pathetic rooms they have uh just look at this water coming out from the washroom okay So the first beach that we put into the GPS was the Paradise Beach, and we didn't know that there is no road goes there. So we taken this muddy road. Not sure whether we will be able to reach there or not. So guys, we are now going to Paradise Beach, and this is the trail that we have to follow to reach Mamu the uh, beach. It's a twenty minutes of trek. So the camera is gonna be on for twenty minutes. Nope. Uh, you need more workout. So we missed the workout because of the trip. Now, Somnad was not willing to go for a twenty minutes trek, but we told him that you can compensate your workout with this trek. So he is now ready and with full energy. is climbing up mera koi video bana do and here finally i can see it but still we have some trail left Okay. So the problem is that we thought we will be going for a uh, beach obviously so we were wearing sleepers <laughs> left my puma at the hotel. So guys after all hardship after all this uh, hardcore trekking and full sweat all this <laughs> we finally reached to paradise. Paradise beach. Paradise beach. Yeah. When I was spellbound of the beauty, just look at my friends. What they are doing up to? Suddenly, everyone is 
feeling like monkeys in their nature and they are trying to climb the trees climb the rocks oh. see where Eshu has reached so now we are going to half moon beach and this is the trail that we have to take on the rocks towards the half moon beach it says that it takes uh, half an hour to reach there let's see how much we will take so bye bye paradise beach One doggy is following us too. So finally we have reached Half Moon Beach after a deadly trekking over the cliffs in sleepers. Hey guys. Uh, so we just now we finished that trekking. So we are, we are done with the trekking where we covered around 1.3 kilometers uh, by walk uh, and that too it was like completely uh, not with the trekking boots it was like with just normal slippers chappals, chappals with the normal chappals that were the brands were the Max, US Polo, Crocs and D-Mart <laughs> so these four chappals helped us by not breaking our legs and we reached our car and right now we are moving towards uh, Kudle Beach Shacks just for, I mean, for the finishing of the bank. We are super hungry now. It was like an intense workout. I think I have burnt more than 1000 calories <laughs> and it was like and now too much tiring. Here. My knees are hurting. So, we just hope that the trail that we have taken for our car will take us to the main road yeah. and hope to reach the shacks pretty yeah. soon. It, so, it is a bumpy ride. I'll show you around when we reach it's there. Shacks. Till then, bye bye. So, Kudle Beach also needs you to trek a bit, but uh, the beach is quite big and there are plenty of shacks uh, serving food and drinks. So in the beach side, you will find few cafes. This one is Sun and Moon. This one, Lotus Cafe, and few other cafes as well. And you can enjoy the view of this beach. This is one of the famous beach. We selected one cafe, enjoyed the sunset with seafood platter and cocktails. So friends, we just had our dinner and it's now 8 o'clock and you can see it's pitch dark and we are going heading towards our hotel from Kudle Beach. It was a small trail towards the beach what we had to cover yes. and then we took our car and now it's the car who will take, take us. us through this car trail. Hi friends, good morning. Today we will be returning to Bangalore. After checking out from hotel at 10 am we decided to visit Murudeshwara temple which is 70 km south on the west coast of Karnataka. The time to reach Bangalore from Murudeshwara is almost similar. So why to miss such a beautiful place? This is Murudeshwara temple. Lord Shiva statue. 
so you can see these small windows and there is a lift that can take you to 18th floor from where you can see the outside view so the lift takes like uh, 20 rupees per person In the temple you have to leave your shoes behind and visit inside but uh, it was too hot the stones were too heated up because of the scorching sunlight but in this area to visit uh, Lord Shiva you can have your shoes on. After the temple visit we thought of having uh, lunch and uh, we found this decent restaurant and we went inside uh, this is called dilruba biryani it is famous here we already got information that bangalore is flooded and we also got into the heavy rain as we were reaching closer it was around 2 am in the morning we reached the waterlogged bangalore thanks for watching this video if you have enjoyed it please like and subscribe to our channel and see you at the next one thank you